Brain surgery is a matter of concern, specifically when we tell somebody requiring a brain surgery for any of the reasons. Because it is so vital organ, uh, touching it might invite some big complications even to matter of life also. Uh, but it's a, it's a myth now because with the advancement of the technology and the newer equipment and the expertise, brain surgery is quite safe nowadays. Hi, I am Dr. Shamim Ahmed. I am a qualified neurosurgeon practicing at Apollo Hospital Guwahati at GS Root. Uh, coming to the modern neurosurgery for the brain, uh, we use the minimally invasive techniques, something like endoscopy, neuroendoscopy, uh, neuro navigation systems, intraoperative neuromonitoring systems, microsurgery. So all this makes the conventional brain surgery to an advanced modern neurosurgical practice and the success rate can be overall more than 90-95%. Whereas in the open surgery, the previous the outcome were not good in elective setting. The high speed invent of drill, the reaching to the brain, it hardly takes two to three minutes time. Then with the intra-op neuromonitoring, you can precisely localize which are the areas and then you can under microscope or navigation, you can cut the only the disease part without damaging the normal structures. More so, nowadays with the advancement of the anesthesia also, evacuatomy can be done where patient can talk and you can operate. The variety of indication of the minimally invasive brain surgeries, uh, like for the brain tumor you can do, even for the surface hematomas, even for some deep-seated tumors or a shunt, or you can avoid a shunt putting an endoscopic uh, drainage system like ETV. Uh, pacemakers can be placed with a minimally invasive technique, uh, deep brain stimulations. Uh, mini mini invasive microsurgical brain bypass can be done with STA MCA. So all these things can be done quite safely and I think with an elective setting the success rate is more than 95% in SUV. Only contrary to this is that in case of emergency surgeries where you have to be more cautious and more timely decision is required if the patients that are come in time you cannot actually really give them the all the outcome. Still so I think with the minimally invasive surgery in an emergency setting can give a success rate of more than 80%.